Good morning, everybody. Back from the gym, and I had kind of a blah workout. I didn't really want to be there, if I'm being completely honest. And so I just, I don't know, I just didn't have a good workout. My house isn't messy at all, but I just want to kind of go through and quickly clean it today. Today is the last month, last month, the last day of the month which means it's my budget review. I need to figure out when I'm gonna pay all my bills and go through and see what bills are due and blah, blah, blah. I'd like to finish my taxes today because we actually have all of our forms in for once. Um, and get that ball rolling to see if we are going to need to pay or if we're gonna get a return. Um, but yeah, I figured I would try to get a little bit of cleaning done and do kind of like a mini day in the life uh, because people are always asking and I'll kind of tell you what I eat in a day and everything so today's workout wasn't a typical workout it was just a kind of annoyed with myself with today's workout if I'm being completely honest this morning I had a banana before I left the house and then I had an apple and I have my yogurt in here um, but I just wasn't in the mood to eat it in the car today so I'm gonna put it back in the fridge so it stays cold and I'll have this after I get some cleaning done and all I've had to drink is coffee. I need to definitely drink some water. Um, I'm also trying a method on my hair called Curly Girl Method, where you basically like really just like don't wash it a lot and you don't use sulfates or parabens or something else. Um, and you condition it really, really well. And this morning I actually had some really nice curls and then I put it up whenever I was at the gym. But I've seen girls with my type of hair because I have this like wavy straight curly combo of hair and it definitely does help you get a lot of like good curls and definition and I love my hair straight like don't get me wrong but I hate doing my hair straight like it takes forever to get my hair straight and then keep it straight and it's just a lot of heat on my hair and stuff like that so I'm kind of interested to try this out and like so this morning I washed it with like it was this shampoo was like non suzzy at all and then I conditioned it and I like took my fingers and that's kind of how I brushed my hair and then I took most of the conditioner out and then I put a product in and I just kind of scrunched it and then I used a microfiber towel to um, dry it however my towel is not big enough so I think next time I will use the microfiber towel to scrunch it to get the water out and then whenever I put it up on my head like while I'm getting ready I'm gonna go ahead and just use a t-shirt everyone says use a t-shirt that's the best thing to do so that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna try it and see. And like you really aren't supposed to like do your hair like with heat or anything and use hot water. So we'll see. Maybe I'll have curly hair again for a while. Um, I've been straightening it for a while, but I just, I'm too lazy. I just don't have time for that. So I'm gonna try to get the downstairs picked up real quick and then um, go upstairs and work a little bit. And then, I don't know. We'll see what today, we're, oh, I don't have to do the budget stuff. But I just want to get my house picked up real quick. I've been kind of working out and just coming home and kind of getting everything tidied up every day. And it's been working really, really well to not feel super behind. I always feel like I'm behind and like I always have a million things that aren't done. And my house isn't always forever clean. But being a working at home, stay at home, part-time mom, it just, it is what it is. I'm not a part-time mom. I'm a part-time worker, I should say.
Alexa, stop. And I have a small pile here, kids stuff, which is good, and I have a small pile of stuff that needs to go upstairs in my room and put some laundry away. So overall, not too bad in here. It's only 10.13, so no complaints with that. <clears throat> Sorry, I just kicked my room on something and she's getting around. Um, so now I'm gonna have a snack. I'm gonna have a Greek yogurt and a tiny bit of granola. Um, I had posted a video a while back about me going on keto. Uh, I went back on keto and then I had um, about three days of a horrible, horrible stomach pain. Um, like, it was in between like a gas, like, I don't even know. So um, I just decided that it's not worth it to me. So I've just been trying to eat low carb um, to see if I can get through my plateau. Uh, I don't eat anything crazy. I just try to balance it all and I'm not the best at balancing. I do like to eat things that are not necessarily good for me, but I just try to balance. I try to really do well during the week and then that way the weekends, if I go a little bit crazy, it's okay. But I'll just put one of these yogurts into, into some vanilla. Actually, you know what? I normally bring these to go, and I think I have a big one I need to go through. Yeah, I'm gonna use this one up first since I'm home. Um, it makes more sense. I bought those little ones because they were on sale at uh, Costco and it made it like 50 cents a uh, little cup, which is like half off from the grocery store. So I'll use this up first with a tiny bit of granola. I know granola is very carby, but this just, I don't know, I'm not a huge fan of yogurt, so this kind of gives me a little bit. <laughs> So I know I'm gonna get asked what's in this bottle because I get asked every time I do a cleaning video. This is just a bottle I got from like Target or Walmart or something and it has the Mrs. Myers in it. So I don't buy the individual bottles of Mrs. Myers. They're like $3.99 I think unless they're on the buy three get one free and then honestly sometimes I won't even get them unless there's like a coupon or a cartwheel or something. But I just buy this and it's $7.99 I think. And this gives me this size bottle um, probably Probably like eight times. Um, I still have the smell of it. It's still, I still feel like it works good enough. And I mean, I pour more in this than you need to because I think the instructions say a fourth of a cup of this per gallon of warm water. And I want to say this is like half of a gallon. So this is like a fifth of a gallon in this bottle and so a quarter cup of this so what maybe there so you can tell this stuff can go a long way and it's definitely a way that we save money um, and I use this pretty much for everything I use it for my counters my toilets it is um, like a concentrated cleaner so I feel like it does pretty well uh, I don't know this is like my everywhere spray I do vinegar and water for like the windows and glass and stuff like that this is the toilet bowl cleaner I've been using. I really like the Method one, but it's like $3.99 and this is like $1.97. So I'm just on a budget and just trying to make the best choices. I'm looking under my sink and seeing what else I use all the time because I'm asked often. Oh, we use this. So this is the, um, the Mr. Clean spray. Again, I buy this big container of it and this was Sorry, my dishwasher just kicked on $3.99, I think, at the store. Um, and I put this in just a spray bottle, and whenever I'm mopping, when I'm not using my Norwex mop, I just spray this and then mop it up with my Mr. Clean mop. What else do I use all the time? Um, Magic Erasers, I always buy the Target or the Up and Up brand, and they are amazing. Um, I do buy Mrs. Meyer's dish soap. It is kind of expensive, but we don't use a ton of it. Um, but it's like my favorite dish soap. What else do I use? Uh, I just use Up and Up for my dishwashing detergent. Uh, I use this Scentsy Fresh as my like room deodorizer spray. Cause four kids, a dog, Jeff's mechanic. It gets stinky in here. And then if you want a good ooh, like deodorizer, antibacterial. Um, just really kick butt stuff. Just really good product. This Autobahn, um, I think he gets that from Home Depot. Could be wrong. If I'm wrong, I'll put down below. When I'll ask him whenever he gets um, 
home but that's a really good cleaner like we use that on the stairs we use that in cars it's a really really good cleaner but I don't use a ton of stuff I just I'm trying to not buy a bunch of products like I like having like a very simple thing and I just have one upstairs and one downstairs I still use my Norwex cloths I love those that's really it and we have Swiffer pads for when I tell the kids to like spot mop their rooms in between me do doing a big mop because their rooms I mop like once a month it's so bad but I hate mopping mopping and toilets I hate them like what is your one chore around the house that you hate doing for me it's mopping for sure all right the exception of having my bed not made because I hope to sit in it later on and read <laughs> um I'm gonna sit down and work it's 10 48 <sighs> let's see how long it takes me to get this done so I forgot to finish vlogging this afternoon because I ended up just working for a better part of the day. But people always tell me like, oh, how is your house so clean? How is it always picked up? Well, today the bedrooms were not picked up and the kids had to come home and clean them up. But like Ellie went and left crayons and crap all over the floor. And then right now she's cleaning up a table full of Play-Doh. So my house gets messy too, just like everyone else's. And I'm sure Aubrey's room is a mess because she was looking for outfits to wear to her themed dance that's coming up this weekend. I look like I'm going crap. with my bae. Looks and like all my makeup came off. Um, but it is 6.07 like now and I am just now making lunches. Oh, okay, so you have to put these things away too. I'm gonna make some macaroni. I'm making some lunches. No, you're not, Aubrey. And I am working on dinner. Tonight is another leftover night. We do leftover nights often. Uh, I honestly probably cook four nights a week and then the rest of the week is leftovers. Uh, we no longer throw them out, we use them and it's made our grocery bill definitely go down a lot because we're not buying as much um, meats and everything like that and it just, I don't know, it's just working really, really well. I'm trying to figure out what my dog did because he's definitely acting extremely guilty right now. Wow. But, no, today's breakfast day. Yeah, that is going to wrap up this vlog. It was kind of boring, but you guys tend to like it's these day in the lives. Um, I've heard from so many people recently that they miss the vlogs and they miss um, like how it was when we vlogged when we were back home. And it's just, there's nothing to vlog during the day. The kids are gone all day. They're gone from, what, we leave the house at probably 7.15 and they get home at, Three, three. Exactly. and then we're doing homework and lunches and I need to like veg <laughs> uh, sometimes I'm having to work like I came home and worked for a while while trying to read up more on this hair method that I'm trying to do so yeah that was our day <laughs>